I love Amazon more than anything in the world. So in here I have a couple things, right? I finally ventured off into the realm of PlayStation 5. Why, you might ask? Well, I like couch gaming, right? PC gaming is my thing. Uh, and I, and I, you know, I, I've been enjoying it a lot, uh, the PlayStation. Uh, I finally dove into that. But the problem is, is that the way that I want it set up is not out of the box default experience, right? So what I have here is something that we have called the total mount. And what the total mount does is it basically allows you to wall mount your PlayStation 5. But there's something else along with this too that uh, kind of drives me nuts, right? Uh, basically, it's the controller, okay? And this controller to me is so foreign that I just can't, I'm not good on the sticks anymore, brother. I'm not, it's just the, the thumbsticks, they're too close together, okay? The problem that I'm having is that I used to be good on controller, right? Me and my boys used to play semi-professional Halo 2 back in the day. Uh, the thing is, is that this controller right here, the Xbox controller is by far more comfortable and all around better in every single way. That is just my opinion. The problem is with this guy right here, I just have a hard time aiming with it, you know, and I could get something like uh, the control freaks or I could, you know, look into a different controller. But why would I want to do that when I can just turn my PlayStation into a gaming computer, right? So the thing is, is that lately new gen hardware is capable of using mouse and keyboard. Now, what I have here uh, is some Chinese brand uh, called the KW68. Uh, and I'm just going to crack it open here. It looks like we get a nice little mouse pad. We got a gaming mouse in here. Okay. And how much of a, a gaming mouse is this? I don't know. I guess it feels okay. Uh, it was sent on, so not exactly sure. Oh, you can turn the LED off. That's interesting. Uh, can be charged in the front through USB-C, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but then we also got along with this in this little kit here, uh, I guess a uh, USB-C. Oh, it's got LEDs on. Nice. Along with that as well, we got this 60% uh, gaming keyboard. So what I wanted to do in today's video is I wanted to start building a PlayStation couch setup uh, that I could get behind right now when I'm playing Demon Souls or I'm playing The Last of Us. Uh, absolutely. The PlayStation controller is just fine and it handles just fine when I'm playing things like Call of Duty or Battlefield 2042. I can't use this damn thing. Okay. I, I just can't. I just can't. And maybe eventually I have to look into a controller that can that operates like an Xbox controller. Uh, but the PlayStation controller just is not it, homie, and I'm not a fan. Uh, so yeah, so what I wanted to do in today's video, uh, and eventually what I want to do as well, is I want to get a replacement shell for the PlayStation that has a fan in the side of it and some RGB. I think that would be pretty PC gamer, right? But what I wanted to do in today's video is I wanted to mount the PlayStation on the wall, and then I just wanted to see if this stuff was compatible uh, with the PlayStation, maybe play a game of Warzone or something. So come along, I'm going to go ahead and we're gonna get this wall mounted off to the side of the TV. We're going to toss this thing in, get it all plugged in, and then we are going to see if we can game on the PS5, you know, more of a computer configuration. So let's go do that and we'll see how it turns out in the end. And then going forward, we can put a new shell on it, we can put some RGB behind the TV. I think that would look pretty sick. Uh, so there's there's plenty of opportunity out there to make this setup sweet. However, today I just want to get this PS5 mounted and I want to see if this keyboard and mouse is compatible. So let's check it out.
So unfortunately, the wireless mouse was not working. I don't know if it's because it uses the same receiver as the keyboard or not. Uh, basically, the mouse would allow me to uh, right click to aim and left click to shoot. Uh, however, it wouldn't let me move. So I had to plug in a wired mouse to that. I don't know. Maybe I'll look into a mouse that actually has another wireless receiver and see if that doesn't work. Uh, I'm not sure. However, the gameplay experience on Call of Duty, so much better with keyboard and mouse. Uh, now, I know what you're saying. Why don't you just play on PC? And I do, for the most part. Uh, but sometimes I just want to kick back on the couch and I just want to uh, play games. You know what I mean? So I'm going to update this as we go along. I do want some, I do want a different shell for the PlayStation that uh, maybe a different color and has a fan cut out because I hear that there are some overheating issues with the PlayStation 5. Um, as well as, as well as kind of maybe just put some lighting back there to kind of make the space just look really nice. But this is kind of where we're at now. We got it wall mounted and we got the keyboard and mouse working on it for the most part. Uh, here is a list of games off to the side. If you want to do this and you want to use keyboard and mouse on your PlayStation, there is a very limited amount of games that actually work. But like I said, games like Demon's Souls that I'm currently playing or uh, The Last of Us, I'm typically fine on the controller, but for that fast paced, like competitive shooter like Call of Duty, uh, keyboard and mouse is definitely my preferred way to play. If you like this video, there's a video right up here that you can check out. I know you're going to love it. I have a whole playlist of stuff down here that you can check out. Click on one of those and I will see you when you get over there. Take care.